my Alexa doesn't work anymore, I can't access Prime Video, my smart home doorbell has stopped functioning and just so many other comments I received on my last video regarding the all new TDUK Fire OS 6 to bloat tool. Now going through the comments, taking in all of your feedback, I can now present to you the latest version of this toolbox and using your comments and your feedback, we now have all of this extra annotation. So you know pretty much exactly what all of these different processes do. So in this video today, let me show you how you can install the latest version of this toolbox. Then I'll take you through each of these processes step by step. So you know exactly what's going to happen on your device. If you were to go ahead and disable them, all you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So double check to make sure you do have ADB debugging enabled on your device. And let me just give you a quick pointer on that, that when you open up the toolbox for the first time, when you see this message, you click on always allow and click on OK. Now, because this application uses ADB to make those changes to your system, if I try to use another application that uses ADB, like maybe Easy Fire Tools on my phone, or maybe using the Launcher Manager, because the Debloat Toolbox uses the ADB connection, those other applications cannot connect in anymore until you close this ADB connection down properly. Now, the correct way to close it is this cross button at the top. So if you click on that now, this then cleanly closes down the ADB connection. So now, for example, if I open up my Launcher Manager or if I open up my Easy Fire Tools on my phone, they'll then be able to connect in successfully. But if this is open on the screen, that basically blocks that connection because a couple of you guys mentioned in my previous video that once they had this running on their device, they were not able to use Easy Fire Tools on their phone because again, this thing locks out the ADB connection. So probably the first thing you notice on this new toolbox is I've now actually reordered those processes. So things that are related or things that are together are now together in the list as well. So the first thing we can see here, or the first five things are all related to Prime Video. So again, for example, if I want to disable everything on my device except Prime Video, I can go to the top, I can click on this box here, which then either highlights everything or selects everything. And if I click it again, it deselects everything. So let's say for example, I want to block everything except Prime Video. I would go to the top here, click on this. I would then come down and uncheck one, two, three, four, five. Then go to the top and click on the play button. So my device now, all of the other packages, about 85 or so, are currently now being disabled via ADB, as you can see with the commands in the background but we're not going to touch the processes for Prime Video and I will demonstrate that once this finishes just to confirm that we can disable everything but still leave the functionality for Prime Video. So, and just while waiting for this guys, when I created the first version of this toolbox, I had so many comments the next day, people saying that things weren't working properly or they noticed that this process blocks something else. Then I quickly took that information and I created a community post. So people were able to see that straight away and know the exact implications of disabling other processes. Now this is why I say that when you do subscribe to my channel, make sure you click on the bell and make sure you click the option for all notifications because if you don't click on all and I create a new community post, you won't get that notification. But if you have the all notifications selected, then every time I create a new community post, you'll get that notification straight away. And I regularly create community posts, typically on the next day with all of your feedback, giving you any extra information I've discovered that night. Okay, that's now all done. I can back out of this. Now, if I just go down the list, so if the item is checked, that means it's disabled. And these five things at the top are not disabled. So let's do a quick real-time test now. So I'm gonna confirm that a Prime Video still works. And as we've disabled the three things here for the system updates, I'm gonna double check and confirm that they are now blocked on my system. So let's press the home key. And let's go to uh, Prime Video first. And let's just write the first one in the list. Click on play uh, within a couple of seconds we can see that is working absolutely fine and we can confirm that Prime Video is not affected on my device. Let's back out of that. Now on the flip side, if we go over to settings, 
go to my fire tv click on about go to check for updates and what happens when i click on check for updates we instantly get an error so so blocking those three processes means that our device won't get any more system updates from amazon so if you are happy with the way that your fire stick is if you set up everything how you like it and you don't want Amazon to change anything or potentially to break anything or pushing updates to applications that you're not using like IMDB TV, for example, then blocking those processes means Amazon just cannot send you those updates anymore. Let's back out of that. But of course, guys, if I press the home key, and this is one of probably the biggest things about the toolbox is just how easy it is to disable and again, enable something if you need to. So let's say for example, that on the 4K Fire Stick, which is what I'm using now, you feel like you do want to get some updates because they've now started pushing out the new home screen UI onto the 4K Fire Stick. How can I quickly get those updates? Well, super quickly, just open up the toolbox, go down here. We know these are the three for system updates. Just one click, one click, one click. So to enable those three, click on the play button. Once those three processes are now enabled, press the home key. Go back into settings and literally guys within like 10, 15 seconds, I can go back here now and my device can now check for updates without any issues whatsoever. Okay, let's back out of that. And if any of you guys are still with me in this video, then if you leave the comment below fire stick speed, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Okay. So just going down the list. So these two were for the developer tools menu. So the system x-ray you see at the top when you want to check your free memory or check how busy your CPU is. If you disable these two, you won't be able to access that anymore. Now the Alexa one was actually very popular because lots of you actually noticed that Alexa stopped working when you disable this one. But more importantly, I'm actually get these moved around is this one here. So the com.amazon.vizini, if you disable that, it breaks Alexa. And we can see on my device because that is ticked at the moment. If I press the mic button, nothing happens guys. So, and again, if I want to enable, I can untick this one and also this one, click on the play button. And within five seconds now, I can just say open settings and it's working once again. Let's back out of that. Now the com.amazon.cardinal is a very interesting one. And a couple of you did actually message me about that. So if you use the Ring Smart Home Doorbell or any other kind of smart doorbell, then if you disable this process, you lose the functionality. So you won't be able to say um, a word and then you know show me who's outside my door or open up the door camera, that kind of stuff. So if you do use those smart home cameras that you want to access with the A word, make sure you don't disable the com.amazon.cardinal. The com.amazon.logan is the voice view, but it's also the text banner. So if you do use that feature where you have that small text banner, uh, which shows you what you currently got highlighted, then don't disable this process. Now this one is for those a &E apps like Lifetime History, Lifetime Movies. This one is the Amazon Free Time. Now this one is also very interesting. So it's the live TV guide. So for example, we can see on my device it's currently disabled but this has two features actually. And the other feature you only notice if you use one of those Amazon TVs, the Amazon Fire TVs, like uh, the JVC TV. So that's basically a TV, but it has Fire OS as the operating system. Now we can see on my device, because I've disabled the, the com.amazon.tv.live TV, the impact it has on my device is we can see here, although I've got the on now and the guide, but if I click on that, it doesn't go anywhere. So, so that process that manages the live TV and the guide has also been disabled. So that's why I can't click on anything. Now, another benefit as you notice here is the sponsor tab. So here where you see the sponsored applications have also been blocked with the develop tool. Now, okay, so live TV we can see is not working on my device, but on the JVC Fire TVs, it also blocks the ability for you to switch inputs. So if you want to switch inputs from one HDMI source to another, that feature is also blocked when you block this process. So let's now enable that one. Let's press the play button. Let's go back to home. And within one second, I can now click on guide. And because we've enabled that process, I can now access that without any issue whatsoever. Let's back out of that. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. 
I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive thanks, you know, for your comments, for your messages, because really it's your comments, your feedback that allow me to make toolboxes like this, and then with your feedback, make them even better. And I will be releasing the Fire OS 7 toolbox for your second generation Fire TV cubes and your Fire Stick lights in the next few days. I'm just taking the information from here and adding it to that toolbox and I will be releasing that in the next few days. So make sure you are subscribed, do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.